Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to show you how you can put columns on a part of a document and not have them on the rest of a document. So I've got some text on the screen and let's say that I want this part of the text to be as it is um, and this part of the text at the top to be in columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to highlight this text and go insert section and you get loads of options in here for example columns for one where you can select whatever you want to do in terms of columns I'm going to leave this bit on one insert so that's a section so this text sits inside that section the remaining text if I highlight the rest of it I could put that in a section as well. In fact, I will do insert section just to keep it um, separate. But this time on this one, I'm going to set this to two columns like that insert. So you've just split that text off into two columns. So that's how you can have a document where some of it's in columns and some of it's not. You, re you really need to create sections and then manage the sections if i get myself a blank piece of paper just do control n for a minute and go to format columns and this is i'm not going to do any sections here i'm just going to put two columns on this and then click ok so what you get on the ruler if you've got your ruler displayed which i recommend you do are the column markers you can see them there now if i type if I do paste actually because I've got it copied there's some text all dropping into the first column now it'll keep going down there until it gets to the bottom and then it'll wrap around and come up to the top but what if you want it to come over here I can't actually click in this at all what you have to do is insert a section break so you can get across there so if I go to insert you've got page break and then you've got other breaks here so you've got column break that's what I want to do there's a key command for it and when I do that it moves across this text now moves across but if I hadn't any text I would still be able to click across there and type away because this is now two separate columns with a break so I can just type whatever I want so that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can manipulate columns within sections and how you can jump from one column to another with a column break. So hopefully this little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.